Okay, uh, my name is Laura Thompson, I'm the curriculum leader for performing arts and it's my wonderful colleagues in the music department who have been working tirelessly to pull this together with all the fabulous young people. There's loads of them, as you can see. So we are delighted to be here and um, I'm really just the warm-up act because Fraser Petrie is back by popular demand. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thank you very much for that, Ms. Thompson. It's great to be back. We have our S3 music class standing right before you. They're going to be performing one of the most ubiquitous Christmas songs ever written. She's defrosted it herself. Here's Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You.
Music at Craigmount in S1 to S3 is all about building an appreciation for music by exploring different musical cultures and genres, providing a basic understanding of how to read music and musical literacy, and providing our young people with opportunities to perform on different instruments independently and cooperatively as a group. Through building these foundations in S1 and S2, pupils can choose to continue with music in S3 to develop their ability independently on two instruments or instrument and voice, and a more in-depth understanding of musical concepts. To build well-rounded musicians, importance is also placed on group performance and ensemble performance. We further immerse pupils into the culture of being an artist through school trips to performances and invite in guests from external organisations to share their experiences with our young people. Music is a great way for pupils to develop transferable skills such as their literacy skills through completing research tasks and presenting to an audience and their numeracy skills through the exploration of rhythm and pulse in notation and performances. We're continuing to focus on building digital literacy through the use of iPads as tools to record, mark up and view performances and tasks in the classroom. In a survey conducted with our S1 and S2 students last year, the majority of pupils said that their favourite things about music were being able to try different instruments and exploring a wide variety of musical styles and songs. We asked a selection of students, what do you like about music? And this is what they had to say. What do you like about music? I like doing karaoke. I like that it's fun and you get to express your emotions. I love when you remember like, the whole piece and how to play all the notes and it just sounds amazing. I actually like so many things about music, but the one major thing that I really like is the song selections that are happening like every week in music. So basically one song is selected and then we have to play it in various instruments and you can change the instruments that you want to play so that you can get like you know experience in all kinds of instruments and this is why I really like music. I really like to perform especially collaborating with different people playing different instruments because you all get to hear uh, what everyone can play and everyone's at different ability levels but it's really fun to all just come together and make a lot of music. What do you like about music in SV? Uh, I made uh, a lot of new friends. It's one of my favourite subjects. Um, well, music this year has been really interactive. It's been really fun because of lots of genres of music, like jazz and other things. So it's pretty good. Um, and I've learned a lot about music, so like, I can play lots of different things now. It's good to get to play with other people, and you know, you get to explore lots of different opportunities, you know, trips and stuff. It's really good, there's lots of good opportunities as well. It's a really great skill to learn and it's very fun. A very wide range of instruments you can play. It's also quite relaxed. It's nice to do something that's different from other subjects. It's refreshing and really fun. Yeah, it's an agreement to explore different like, styles and cultures.
At Craigmount High School, we have a wide range of extracurricular activities in music to enhance our curriculum and provide pupils with more opportunities to develop their musicianship independently or with peers. Extracurricular activities run during lunch times or after school and provide pupils with opportunities to explore new styles of music and instruments, develop their confidence and communication skills through performance within groups, take a lead on their own musical learning and the learning of others, and also provide an outlet for pupils to express themselves and their feelings in a supportive environment. For session 22-23, we currently have the following offerings in the wider performing arts faculty. On Mondays, we have the Senior Wind Band and the Senior String Group in the Music Department during Senior Lunch. On Tuesdays, we have school show rehearsals with selected students at lunchtime in the studio. During Junior Lunch, we have the Junior Wind Band, the Junior Choir and the Cello Ensemble in the Music Department. And during Senior Lunch, we have the Senior Rock Band in the Music Department. On Wednesdays, we have the Junior String Group and the Junior Keyboard Group in the Music Department during Junior Lunch. We have the Trad Group, which is after school in the Music Department. And we have the Junior Drama Club, which is for S1s to S3s after school in the studio. On Thursdays, we have our Senior Songwriter Sessions during Senior Lunch in the Music Department. And we also have Performance Masterclasses for S4 to S6s in the drama studio after school. Finally, in the music department, we have our music club after school, open to all at G64, and we have our school show rehearsals for our musical, Oxy Malone this year, after school in the drama studio and the drama department. A lot of these opportunities are facilitated by our fantastic instrumental music instructors who teach peripatetically across City of Edinburgh Council. Our instructors deliver high quality instrumental music lessons to pupils every week at no cost to parents or carers and can provide any pupil with a chance to learn an instrument subject to uptake and availability each year. Let's meet some of the team. Hello, I'm Neil Somerville. I'm one of the uh, longest suffering serving music instructors at Craigmount. I teach the drums and the percussion. Hi, I'm Sarah Stoller and I'm the brass teacher at Craigmount High School. I hope you're enjoying the concert. Hello, I'm Mrs McHugh and I'm the woodwind teacher here at Craigmount. I'm Miss Senior and I teach piano and keyboard at Craigmount. Hello everyone, my name is Claire Garabedian, better known as Dr G, and I am delighted to be the cello instructor at Craigmount. Hello, I'm Miss Johnson and I teach upper strings. <laughs> guys. My name is Neil Wilson and I'm happy to say that I am an instructor of music at Craigmount High School and I teach drums. If you would like to see any of these groups in action, please check out some of our previous concerts on our Craigmount High School Performing Arts YouTube channel.
was delighted to be able to take our trad group across to my home, the island of Isla, this year for a music festival called the Isla Sessions. It's a really inspiring folk festival where musicians all get together and perform at different venues across the island. Our track group at Craig Mountain High School have been together for about a year and a half now and the rationale behind this trip was to give the pupils in the track group an opportunity to perform with each other in a festival-like scenario because these are young musicians that have exceptional talent. During our trip it was great to link in with Isla High School to work with their trad group for a day doing some rehearsals for a Kaylee later on that night. The pupils were fantastic representatives of Craig Mount and held the Kaylee together really, really well. On the second day, we had a couple of gigs. The first one was at Port Charlotte Hotel on the Saturday afternoon. The pupils performed for an hour for their lunch and we were treated to some music from Chris Stow and Ross Cooper as well, which was amazing. <laughs> We then got to visit Lynn McLean, who is an Alexander Technique Specialist and she is also fluent in Gaelic and she told us a wee bit about her work doing Alexander Technique and how it kind of utilises the energy in the body. She also told us a little bit about the history of Gaelic on Isla and Gaelic song. Finally on the Saturday night, the pupils had a little slot at the Isla Sessions concert where they performed on the main stage before the first act was up and the reception was amazing. There were so many people complimenting the pupils how well they were doing, how great a sound they were producing and just how promising they were as young musicians in the future. The trip for me was probably one of the most special moments that I've had as a teacher. It's one of these moments where you kind of realise you have one of the best jobs in the world sometimes. Um, the pupils were just an excellent credit to themselves, a credit to their parents, a credit to the school. And I would just like to thank the generosity of all the parents and carers and the wider Craigmount community that were involved. Mr Beatty for being the excursions person and sorting everything out at the last moment and SLT of course for their approval for making the trip happen. It's really made a huge impact to the pupils and I would just like to share some words from them about how they feel about the trip. What were your favourite moments on the trip? Uh, I really liked playing for the Kaylee, it was a new experience and it's really fun. Also, there was lots of like just silly moments we had together that were really good. I think my favourite moment from the trip was getting to play in all of the concerts, so playing at the Isla High School, playing at the Port Charlotte Hotel and playing in the main Isla Sessions concert on the Saturday night. My favourite moments for the trip were the Kaylee, because causing people to have so much fun, it just it was really nice, and the Isla Sessions themselves, all the acts were really good and it was very motiv motivating and inspiring. 
And then at night when we were all tired and messing about, that was really funny too. Um, I really enjoyed, you know, meeting all the kids from LFI and, and going to the gig on the Saturday night and meeting all the other musicians. It was really inspiring. The trip really meant a lot because I got to meet some amazing people within the Scottish traditional music world and getting to chat about tunes and music and make connections for the future. What did the trip mean to you? It was, yeah, it meant a lot because it was our, obviously our first residential trip and it was a great one to go on. You know, it allowed us to kind of enhance our playing and musicality in general. We did lots of new stuff on it and also definitely got to practice our sight reading. <laughs> Uh, it was important to me because of the experience and all the good memories and as a musician it was very inspiring. Would you like to go on the trip again? Definitely, Definitely yeah. 100%. Yeah. Would I go again? Absolutely. It was an amazing experience and one that I'll always treasure. I would definitely go back. It was really fun. It was a uniquely amazing experience. It was very motivating, though I would hope the ferry journey would be nicer if we went back. But I, I loved it, yeah. It was really fun.
Thank you to Mr. Somerville, who has put all this together and picked our songs. Um, I'm not quite sure he's up there. Um, he's had to put up with us throughout all the rehearsals during lunchtime, so we just wanted to give a big thank you to him. And this next song is a Steely Dan song, and this is Kid Charlemagne. <laughs> Everyone stopped to stare at me, turned the color more home. 
Music in the senior phase focuses primarily on performing pieces of music on two instruments or instrument and voice, and forming an understanding of musical concepts from the Renaissance period right through to the modern day, being able to identify these through listening to pieces of music. Additionally, we aim to enhance pupils' understanding of the performing arts as viable career pathways, running trips to see performances out with the school, creating performance opportunities and seeking external professionals to share their expertise with pupils. We currently offer national qualifications from National 3 up to National 5, higher and advanced higher and an NPA in music performance. For National 3 to National 5 music you attend 4 periods a week or 6 periods a week at higher to advanced higher level. We're currently delivering our NPA through one wider achievement period and this is heavily based upon performing two instruments and an evaluation of your progress. Our subject results are some of the highest in the school over the last academic year, with 64% of National 5 pupils achieving an A grade and the remaining 36% of pupils achieving a B grade. At higher level, 100% of students achieved an A grade at higher music and higher music technology. We've created a music ambassador scheme for pupils in S4 to S6 who are passionate about leading musical opportunities for others, representing the department for the wider Craigmount community, helping to organise events and having their say in how we can improve the musical experiences we offer at Craigmount. For the first time this year, music ambassadors in S6 are having the opportunity to complete one of the Royal Conservatoire of Scotland's Music Leader Awards and can aim for a bronze, silver or gold award. These are accredited and recognise their contributions to our music department and to their own development as musicians in leading opportunities for others. We've had a substantial number of former pupils who have gone off to further studies at college, universities or straight into the industry. However, music should be considered by anyone who has any musical experience out with school that they would like formally recognised or by anyone who is keen to learn more about music and push themselves to develop their technique and ability on two instruments or voice. Being a musician has many desirable skills that employers look for, such as having resilience and demonstrating good time management skills, being patient and thinking creatively and adaptively. Our pupils are excellent representatives of the performing arts faculty and their passion for music clearly shines through in their musical performances such as those seen tonight.
Thank you. 